all right hello everybody and welcome to the channel as usual my name is of course constantine and today we are just about to finally say welcome welcome to the world of paleo i've been waiting to play this game for the longest time ever and i'm finally finally jump again of course i'm gonna be jumping into the uh, closed beta here the game is now out just yet the developers are still currently in the process of making sure the servers are working properly before they release it and uh man let me tell you all i'm super super excited about it now i've actually been talking about this game quite a lot in the past few days and uh we are finally just about to jump in and explore it i'm gonna actually be uh, playing a full series here uh this series is actually gonna be pretty long i'm pretty sure about it and also, it's going to be a combination between videos and live streams as well, uh, where I'm going to be able to maybe hopefully connect with you guys in some of the live streams and just simply explore the world of Paleo together. So that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and uh, let's just dive right in. Also, if you're interested in the game, check out the link down below in the description so you can go ahead and sign up for the beta. All right, let's do this. All right, and there we go. This is going to be our current character. Uh, there's not that many options we have in the customizations. I was really looking forward to try out some facial hair or something like that. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get that customization uh, along the way. But for now, let us see what the game is all about. Go out into the world. I, have high hopes I am super curious to see how the game is going to run, though. Super, super excited about this. I've been waiting to play this game for the longest time ever. And now that it's finally here, now that I finally have access to the closed beta, I'm getting all giddy. Oh, look at this thing. This looks amazing. <laughs> oh my god, the characters. That is awesome. Oh, I think this is us actually spawning into the world. Are you kidding me? That is so beautiful. What? Man. This game reminds me a lot of Fortnite because of the style of it. <laughs> it's like we're playing a cozy Fortnite game. Oh Don't my dragon! Uh, did 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 you just materialize out of nowhere? <laughs> uh, I honestly have no idea. More like from a uh, parling uh, pink void. Not sure, but I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Let's go with more like from a sparling pink void. <laughs> oh, uh, tell me more about the void. Hmm. None of the other humans remember where they came from, so this is kind of big deal. Sorry, that's all I got. Uh, other humans? Ah. Yep, you're not the first human that's seen in Pelia. Just the first I've seen, you know, uh, uh, appear in a giant cocoon of light. <laughs> we should slow down. Uh, why don't you just take this map and uh, head on to the town where you can talk to Ashura, the innkeeper. Uh, he's been helping up the others with uh, getting in steadily in. I will help you myself, but I'm working on something here, and I'm this close to figuring it out. <laughs> I was so caught off guard, I realized I forgot to introduce myself or explain why I'm here. The name's Gina. And I am an apprentice scholar researching uh, these old ruins. And this here is my research assistant, Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. I gotta get back to my grind. Oh, you've already left. Oh, man, look at this. This looks spectacular. Of course, we are going to be playing this one on PC uh, using mouse and keyboard. Oh, but I'm loving this. This looks spectacular. And I most definitely want to chat with Hecla because, uh, I mean, look at these characters, man. This is gorgeous. Hey, human. I know you must have many questions about your uh, spontaneous emergence. Your presence has much chance in the world of Pelia. Hmm. Why was your friend so freaked out? <laughs> Let's go with, what am I? You're a human being, an ancient thing this world has not seen in many rations. This world has not seen in many rotations around the sun. Beyond that, you shall have the answer to the questions of what you are for yourself us do we all please come again oh my god i'm super super loving this now i'm playing this one uh, currently on full graphics quality uh so i'm not quite sure if i should reduce the graphics quality as i am seeing a little bit of um frame drops and stuff like that but uh i guess we're gonna have to wait and see oh my god we can even jump in everything what 
As I was saying, this feels a lot like Fortnite. Oh. Ooh, I think I've just seen a person. Wait, can you actually climb on these things? Yes, you can. That's awesome. Okay, so this is gonna be my inventory, I guess. Interesting. I know that this world, the world of Hadea, is going to be absolutely giant. Oh, look at that. We have so many people. We have Hazel Grace. We got Halcyon Helen. Who do we got here? We're Monkey. Hey. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the world of Palea. All right. Well, in that case, I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to follow the uh, blimp on the compass and see where it's going to take me to. Uh, we got to find Ashura in Kilima. Hey, Maki. <laughs> How can you chat with people? Hey. Can we make friends? Oh, there's even a chat, of course. We can actually chat with people. Uh, I was hoping for uh, seeing some emojis, maybe. Uh, maybe, like, popping above my character and stuff like that. But... That is not happening, apparently. Hmm... Apparently, you can also press tab to whisper to maybe people. I think I saw somebody saying something about that. Uh, it is nighttime, though. My game is currently kind of like uh, glitching out a little bit. It's jogging along. It's jogging along. I may just have to reduce the quality of the uh, game a little bit, to be honest. Just some settings, maybe. All right. Anyway, let's keep it going. I wanted to apply some of the changes, uh, some settings there to maybe reduce all the frame drops that we're getting. Where am I even going? Is this the end? Of course, it's going to take a while before I'm going to be able to actually learn this world and the entire map. Does anybody know if uh, you can build a home together? Aww, that would be cool. I think you can if you invite somebody. Of course, they're pro they're basically building your home. Alright, I think this is the end, right? Pretty sure this is it, yeah. And this is Ashura. Hey, buddy. How's your day going? How's my day going? Welcome to Kalima. I'm sure this is uh, quite a lot to take in. I'm Ashura, the innkeeper at uh, Ormus Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now. But we do have some old plots to the northeast where you can actually build your home or more like a tent. What do you say? Do you want to take in the great outdoors? Um, nothing like sleeping under the stars. I'm not the camping type. I'm just glad I have a place to sleep. Uh, personally, I'm not the camping type, but in this case, I'm actually going to go with nothing like sleeping under the stars. The night sky here is beautiful. I'm sure you'll love it. So, let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials, of course. I've got an axe here for you, but you're gonna have to talk to our resident miner, Hodari, about the pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. You'll want to take the road uh, up the hill to the northeast. Here, I'll mark the spot on your map. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted come out. Come by whenever you like. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Will do. We will do that for sure. Uh, how do you check the map? If I press on M... Oh, there we go. So that's how you press on M and check the map, and we gotta go all the way over here. Quest objective. So I'm gonna be guessing that's uh, where I'm gonna be able to make my home for now. So we got the Kalima village. Uh, Chupa Crossing, or Kappa. Chapa? Chapa Crossing, maybe? <laughs> this looks really beautiful, though. This is a very, very gorgeous game. Alright, let's head on out, then. Let me make my way to my home. Cannot wait to actually be able to make my own home. However it's going to look. Even if it's going to be just a tent at the moment. I just want to start exploring and enjoying the world. Ooh. 
Ooh, what do we got here? I just found a fruit. Collect. Oh, found some more garlic. Of course, there are resources around that you can go ahead and collect. I currently have no pickaxe, no axe, no nothing. Actually, didn't he just give me an axe? Oh, I do have an axe. Never mind. Look at that. Completely forgot about that. Because he did say that he has an axe for me. Uh, but for a pick, I gotta go chat with somebody else. Hey, there we go. Pretty sure I'm gonna need quite a bit of wood. Uh, probably also stone. But since I do not have a pickaxe, I cannot really grab stone. So I'm just gonna get some wood at the moment. Not sure how much I need though. So I'm just gonna chop down a few trees around. And what I love about this game is that we can actually, guys, we can actually connect together and play together. Do some looting together, build together. Uh, it's gonna be a special adventure, of course, if we're gonna be able to do this in live streams. Uh, because if I'm not mistaken, from what I've seen from developers, uh, if you are playing the game uh, in co-op with friends, you're actually getting awarded more. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly how it works, but I think if I'm not mistaken, for example, when we're chopping down trees together, uh, we're probably getting more wood than just nine saplings, for example. So that's just an example, right? Uh, because we're working together. So that's gonna be very exciting. Alright, let me go this way. I think this is gonna be the path that I gotta take. How do I put down my axe, I wonder? Ooh, doors are opening for me. Interesting. I'm gonna be guessing this is where the plots for houses are gonna be, right? So, uh, this is probably where I'm gonna be able to actually build my own home. <laughs> what are those? Oh god, we're gonna have a lot of building to do here. This is not gonna be easy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh man, the characters are looking amazing. Apparently, we are only humans. They are the ones that are uh, these type of creatures, like elf-like creatures. You talking to me? Sorry. Hey, you talking to me? <laughs> Hmm, it's coming along. Uh, a lot of trash left, though. Uh, hi! Hmm. Hodari Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do for you? Uh, assurance sent me for a pickaxe. Can you tell me how you got these biceps? <laughs> I'm in the right place, right? Uh, hi, I'm Stanton. Stanton, huh? Interesting name. I assume Assure has sent you over? Been sending a lot of new folk my way lately. Huh. He's the whole reason I'm actually checking out on the sadness of these uh, campsites. Don't need your old birdie muds. In fact, this one is about ready to use if you want, just need a bit of more work. I see you got an axe already. Here, take this pickaxe too. Always good to have the right tools for the right job. Use them both to clear the debris, would ya? Mining's hurry work, so you better take this too. My daughter says that I need to eat healthier, but you'll get more out of it. <laughs> I think he also gave me a little bit of food, yeah look at that. And this might actually give me some energy if I want to dig around. Interesting. Uh, what about this one? Press and hold R to switch to another tool. Try gathering wood uh, from nearby debris. Press F to gather. So, of course, uh, I can actually use this and chop these down. These are the debris, right? Hey, there we go. All right, we got quite a bit of material there. Let me also get these debris. And, of course, for the stone, I'm going to have to choose um, the pickaxe. Just like that. A works. Awesome. Clear some debris from the plot. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There we go. We got it. That is super cool. Uh, I can, of course, also go with four. Can I? How do you eat it? Of course, I'm selecting four, but I'm not quite sure how I use it. Enter is for the chat. Hmm. Wait, what? How do you use stuff from your inventory? Oh, hold up. I can actually use the action bar. Oh, I think morning is coming. This item is your action bar. Ah, so this is the action bar. I have two slots at the moment. So again, I know I can choose this. Maybe I just gotta remove the axe for myself. Oh, this is for building. Okay. How do you use stuff from the action bar? Oh, with right click. I just, I think I just used it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found this weird thing. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Hmm. Huh? Found a lot of strange things in the mines, but not sure what that is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. It's your plot after all. 
I've got other plots to inspect, but there should be space to drop this work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and place to keep your things before you worry about gr growing tubes. Bye! There we go, I think we just got ourselves our first quest. Awesome. And of course, our first quest is to start making ourselves a base here, kind of like a home. Uh, first of all, though, I want to build this. How do you build it now? Ooh. Ah, that's how you build it. That is so cool. Uh, I'm just going to place it here for now. I'm pretty, pretty sure you can actually move things around. There we go. We now have a workbench. Are you kidding me? So we have a wooden storage bin uh, that we can actually make right now. <laughs> oh my god, this game. I'm going to absolutely love this game, guys. This is going to be a very, very long series on this channel. I can guarantee you that. Uh, a makeshift tent. Let's also make that. There we go. We got a roof on our head. Uh, I'm going to be able to get myself a lot of materials here still. So let me just clean up the entire place. Grab all the materials. And then let's see what else we can do. Also, I see a lot of mushrooms around. Hold up. Let me check them out. Mushrooms. A mountain moral. Of course, this game is going to take a learning curve. Uh, we're going to have a lot of learning to do here. We barely just saw it. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. If I'm not mistaken, I'm seeing my name uh, at the top left corner in a bar. I'm guessing that is kind of like an XP bar. So uh, you're definitely going to be able to level up in the game. As I was saying, this is a cozy MMO. Imagine playing a game like uh, World of Warcraft. I don't know if you guys have played that before. That's not a cozy one, of course, but uh, that's the best example I can give right now, just because the style of this game kind of like uh, reminds me of that. But as I was saying, this kind of feels more like playing a Fortnite game, a cozy Fortnite game, which I like. Fortnite is a really, really beautiful game. Uh, let's grab all the wood. I wonder how much stuff you can actually get in your backpack. Uh, I'm seeing, of course, that we're getting stacks of wood, for example, right? So I'm going to be guessing that each stack is going to have a maximum of 99, maybe. Uh, and you do have a limit of how much you can carry. I love that the day and night cycles are not as fast. Uh, we did hear the chickens making sound, kind of like uh, telling us that the morning is coming. But uh, it seems like it's taking a while for the morning to come, which is not bad at all. I really don't like games where day and night cycles are going too fast. I kind of want the day and night cycles to be a little bit longer. Now, oh, you know what? That bar that I'm seeing, actually, that is my stamina. Ah, I get it. And in order to increase my stamina, of course, I'm going to need to eat something. Hmm. For example, if I go with 8 and I eat the mushroom, there we go. It increased the stamina, of course. So that's how I increase it. I get it now. All right, let me get a pickaxe and give it up these ones. Now, my question is, how do I... Oh, that's how you build chests, I guess, right? So you can place a chest right over there. And of course, I can access the chest and simply put some stuff inside. Uh, so this is my inventory. Ah, so if I level up my character, uh, actually, I think I got to go to Zeki's store to buy a backpack, and that's going to increase my inventory space. You guys know they're going to have to do that because, uh, in my opinion, having a big inventory space is super important. This one is an ancient thing, but I'm not quite sure exactly what it resembles. All right, we got rid of quite a lot of resources. This is the, um, all this, uh, the amount of stuff you can place in a chest, I guess. Okay, let me also grab my tent. Oh my god, the size of it though. <laughs> I was actually thinking that it would be smaller. But I don't, I'm don't. i not going to say no to it. Hey, we got a tent. Finally. Oh, what do we got here? A uni. Hey, buddy. It's a good day to be exploring. Whoa, good. You haven't left yet. My mom, the Layla, told me that there was another new human in town, and here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Welcome to Kalima. And I wanted you to have your mail. I'm a uni, and I handle all deliveries right here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine. Six in the morning and six at night. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that my job is about to get a, a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. Um... <laughs> Sure, I love getting mail. Ah, 
Good. Then I bet you'll be happy with all I have for you. Come on, go check it out. It's your first uh, mail delivery ever. Mom's calling. <laughs> Ooh, and I think uh, this is where I'm going to be able to actually sell some of the stuff that we are uh, creating, of course, because I'm going to be able to do farming. And this is our mail. We have two of them so far. Uh, so we have Anar. Hey, Stanton, I've been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the uh, swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of Miss Birthday to you, new human. All the humans call me Inner, and I would like to share with you the uh, joy of fishing. Oh, this is this amazing character I'm going to be able to meet very soon. Awesome. Please take this rod in your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. Ooh, okay, we're going to have to look out for Inner here uh, so that he can teach me how to fish. To whom you may concern. City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You will find the bow and set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am also available to tutor you in their use. Uh, during work hours, you can find me in Kalima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, listen to those bells. That was so cool. All right, I think... Uh, wait, we have more mail. What? Did I just read these ones? Oh, we got to collect the attachment first. Then we can mark it as red. Never mind. Hold up, let me click these ones and mark as red. There we go. So that's how you do it. Interesting. I'm loving the way the game works so far. Hold up, this guy wants to talk with me again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't expect you. So, how are you settling in? This plot is huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. Uh... My dad found an old chopper arrowhead in your yard last week, but all I ever seem to find are rocks. Hmm. Well, I found this strange artifact. Oh, oh wow. What does it do? No idea. Uh... Mm. I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in the ruins. You should see if she found something like it before. <laughs> oh, yeah, I almost forgot all the excitement. I brought a present to you, too. Uh -huh. A Bug Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs, too. I'm a member of Kalima's best and only bug catching club. I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now, so you should talk to my dad, Badru, uh, to learn how to grow food. And Ri, who works in the inn, can teach you how to cook it. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race ya. Oh, was that a dragonfly? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna come with you just yet, buddy, because I was saying I want to make sure I finish up with the plot here. Let me go with H. Ah, uh, so you can actually go. What? That is so cool. How do you uh, go inside the house, for example? I want to place the chest inside the house. Um, but I'm not sure how to do it. So this is going to be my tent. I love it that you can actually access stuff like this and move them around. That is so cool. If you want to be able to be more precise with the building, it's really awesome that they give you these options. Uh, so let me go with control. Grab it. And move it in here, I guess. Wait, is this the way? No, it's supposed to be like that, actually. There we go. Oh, no. What? Dude. Ah, instead that you're placing inside, it's going to stay inside now. That is not bad. All right, let me grab the workbench. There we go. That's what I want to see, buddy. Man, but building and everything works super, super smoothly. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, let me just skip as I'm going to clean this place out then. Uh, grab all the resources. And then I'm going to head on out. the last one because my energy is all down. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I have any more food to actually uh, eat up something. Uh, I did notice a little bit of stuff over here that I can collect in order to increase my energy, I guess. So I can go with that, eat a mushroom, and get more energy. But I'm actually going to stop uh, doing a little bit of collecting now. What I want to do instead, I want to make sure I place... Should I actually place some resources here? I might need them. I'm not 100% sure. I also have another slot. So, yeah, whatever. Let's just put all these behind. I wonder if I can... How do I move them fast? If I hold on shift and I click, or more like if I click, it does one. But how do I do a full stack? Oh, right click. Okay. Let's get rid of all of it. Just place everything inside the chest, and uh, that's going to be for now. 
All right, let's head on now then. Let me make my way into town. And we're back to Pedia. All right, accepted a quest. Mysterious object, accept a quest. So our quests are ask Gina about the strange artifact and learning the ropes. Talk to Baduru to learn how to garden. Hey buddy! I wish I was a voice. Can you know how I'm use mics to interact with people? Or more like wave? I really want to do waving emotes. Are there no emotes? Hmm, I don't think there are any emotes. Let me check. Alright, so in order to emote, you can actually do this. Oh. Hey, there we go. We got emotes. <laughs> uh, that is so cool. <laughs> Look at the face, though. All right, uh, let us see here. We got to do some missions. We got quite a few missions that we got to do, as y'all can see. Uh, which one is the closest? So the closest one is Kalima here, the village in Ayuni. So let me chat with Ayuni real fast. Hey, buddy. I cannot wait to actually get myself a pet. That's gonna be superb. And I think if I'm not mistaken, wait, where is Ayuni? Uh, Ayuni is straight up ahead that way. Ooh, hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> this is really cool. You can also, of course, uh, choose different emotes if you want to. Alright, I cannot wait to start making friends, getting ourselves uh, more quests, and there's nobody inside here. Oh, we got Wreath. I think he's going to be the one that's going to allow me to cook stuff, right? You can never go wrong with soup. Oh, hey, you're one of the newbies, right? Whoa. Name's Wreath, but you can call me Trouble. <laughs> In addition to being bad news, I also provide Kalima with delicious soups and stews here at the uh, Urmus Horn. Ah. Stop by later, yeah? Always happy to chat with a friendly new face. Uh, can you teach me to cook? Let's go with shall we read. I'm really looking forward to the end of the shift. I have a nice recipe I want to try out, but I love the ingredients at home. Hmm, can you teach me how to cook? <laughs> oh, whoa there. You gotta learn to walk before you can actually swim. Unless you're a fish, but I'm like 97% sure that you're human. <laughs> Why don't you just start out by making campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up some shrooms like a camp, uh, we'll get you started to the complicated stuff. Oh, uh, if you don't want to get stuck in a tent for the rest of your life, probably got a good idea to talk to Kenny next. He's the mayor. But hey, don't judge either way. Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, hopefully I'm going to be able to get the mayor to allow me to uh, build up my own home and not just live in a tent for the rest of the day. Or more like the rest of our adventure here. Uh, next up... Where am I supposed to go? Ooh, this is the shop. This is where you can actually buy stuff. Awesome. I want to see if I can buy you some stuff. Hold something. up. Hey, welcome to the Jenna store, pal. Mm. If you're looking to buy, we got vegetables, seeds, fertilizers. We got that pocket stick over there that kind of looks like a rake. All your basic farming wishies and wasties. <laughs> got too much stuff to carry, huh? But not in the pockets in the old overalls? Well, step right up and try the Zeki's Fabulous Backpack. This backpack has space for all your wooshies and your uh, what's-its. <clears throat> it's even magically enhanced so that you can store the exact same amount of the item in it, regardless of their size. 20 seeds or 20 swords, it's all the same to Zeki's fabulous backpack. How do I buy it though? Uh, store. So this is where we can actually buy all sorts of stuff. What about the backpacks? I don't see the backpacks. Alright, let's keep it going then. I don't know how to get myself a backpack. I don't even know if I have the ability to get that. Oh my god, but I noticed that I have a lot of stuff in my adventure because we just claimed all those things. Wait, what if I... Actually, those are things that I can place. Never mind. Uh, okay, let me check the map real fast. Again. Because I was saying we gotta go to... What do we gotta go to? Uh, Hasian over here. It doesn't like we can place markers or anything, which is quite weird. I was hoping I could actually place markers. Uh, so I gotta go northeast. Kinda like this way. I think. Right? Yeah, a little bit more actually northeast this way. Huh. 
Wait, what? There's a person out here, but I... Oh, there we go, there we go, we found him. Uh, this one is Dante Chip. Ooh, look at the dog she's got. Oh my god, this looks amazing. I want one of those. Woof, woof. <laughs> Aw, are you sleepy? Let's go with snack time? I think he wants a snack, yeah. Two wits expectedly for a snack. I don't have a snack, though. Oh, I don't have a snack to give him, unfortunately. All right, we got to chat with this guy. Stanton, I presume, huh? Don't act stunned that I know your name. I know everything that goes in this village, including when someone new arrives. My name is Hesian, and I'm in charge of maintaining the natural order of woods that surround the village. Be good to the valley, and we will have no quarrels. Use nature poorly, and you'll find I know how to rid this village of all sorts of pests. <laughs> um, I got your letter. My what? Oh, those three real letters City Hall had made me sign? Ugh, my mother is the town's blacksmith. A simple bowl like that is uh, in easy supply. It takes years to learn proper hunting. Start by aiming that bow at something, like those chapas or a shinnok. Maybe you'll even uh, manage to hit your target? <laughs> what do I like to do for fun? Uh, I like to be left alone. <laughs> I find myself to be all the company that I need. Perhaps you should learn to become more comfortable with uh, solitude yourself. Good. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, let me actually get myself the bow then. There we go. Equip the bow. Hold to draw the arrow. Remember to arc the arrow further. Of course, there's going to be a uh, arrow drop, right? Kind of like a bullet drop. Creatures will flee if you miss. Okay. Uh, hunt required levels. You'll be able to choose from more powerful arrows. All right. Press to open the ammo bag. Aha. Uh -huh. We also have an ammo bag. Uh, huntable creatures drop valuables. So, apparently, this is how you choose the arrows. Let me see if I can hunt down something right here. I want to see if I can try to hunt something down. Then I'm going to try to chat with this fellow as well. Well, there's nothing to hunt you here. Anyway, let me chat with Ayuni then. What you up to? Hey, you're here. Awesome. You got your belt and your smoke bombs, right? Before we get started, you got to take the bug scout forth. Just repeat after me. I promise to honor nature and all its creatures, to always lend others a helping hand, and most importantly, tell Ayuni if you see anything really cool. <laughs> Pretty sure you made that last one up. <laughs> okay, fine, but you gotta promise anyways. We're bug buddies now, and bug buddies share their cool catches. Anyways, welcome officially to the Bug Scout. Hmm? Why don't you just go ahead and try to catch something cool? Remember though, certain bugs will only come out at certain times. Hmm... My family runs the farm down the road. We grow the biggest vegetables. My mom won the blue ribbon at the fair like a million years in a row. Alright, buddy, hold up. I saw a... Oh, everybody keeps on shooting these bugs. I want to shoot some of these creatures as well and get their loot. Uh, at the same time, I also want to collect me these... Uh, what are these? Flowers? It's pretty cool that collectibles kind of make a little bit of sound. Uh, let me also get myself a pickaxe here because I saw some resources there. I want to see what these are. It's gonna be kind of like iron ore. Oh my god, but my energy is so low. Now, what is four? What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, I think this is a fisherman. I keep on getting distracted and trying to do all the missions, but I keep on finding all the people that I gotta chat with. So this guy is the fisherman. Alright, let's have a quick chat with him then. Oh my god, look at Einar! He looks amazing! Do you wish to engage in conversation? Oh, hello! You seem to be another new person. Unless I have previously made your acquaintance. In any case, my apologies for forgetting you. I'm often too distracted by my ownness to take notice of such things as meeting new people. And there seems to be so many and there seem to be so many new people coming up lately. Uh, what is the onus? Oh, silly human. The onus is merely the onus. The onus cannot be learned by listening to the sound of the air as it moves throughout your face flaps. It must be experienced. For me, that experience usually involves much fishing. <laughs> Alright, uh... I do not intend to consume the fish containing with the amphibian-shaped jar uh, for energy or nutrition. I simply hold them here for the villagers who make requests. If the villagers do not come to collect, I will set them free so they can mate and uh, create more fishies for us to enjoy. I got your letter. 
You must have received my communications regarding the beloved pastime of fishing. I understand that it is customary for tutelage to require work that one does from home. I know there is a word for it, but I cannot quite recall what it is. <laughs> Here, why don't you just give that fishing rod on your person a try? I shall be here in case you accidentally fall in. Go and think your one. Oh my god, this character is amazing. Alright, well, while we're here, let's try to do some fishing. Hold down to set the distance of a cast. Allow the fish to nibble. Wait for a bit. When you see a large splash, press click, I guess. Move left and right to aim the reticle at the fish. Okay. Be ready to press the release as needed. Fish will try to escape the uh, reticle in various ways, including jumping. Do not reel while the fish is outside the circle. Okay. Hold down to reel the line. Only reel when you have the fish centered in the reticle. Okay. And when the fish is outside the reticle, release to stop reeling. Understood. Let's try it out. Let's see how this goes. I cannot really reel too far though. But that's good enough. Quite curious to see how this works. Is it biting? Oh, it's biting. Come on. Stop nibbling. Just bite. Come on. Oh, this is so cool though. I kind of like it the way uh, you're fishing. It's super, super awesome. Na, 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 na. Of course, currently we haven't really experienced anything, but we got our first fish. Uh, we haven't experienced any trouble. That's what I want to say. All right, let me try to get another one. The thing is, we're going to have to craft a campfire, which of course, in return, once we do that, uh, we're then going to have to... Let me go a little bit lower here. Uh, then we're going to have to start cooking something, such as these fish, for example. I think we can actually cook them in order to get some energy. Not to mention, we need a bed to rest up and get some energy. Come on. Man, this is such a chill game. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be kind of like a book or something that's gonna uh, show us how many fishes we got and what type of fishies. Pretty sure about it. All right, a perfect catch. We got another ghillie, a ghillie fan. Let's try to catch a third one then. And then I'm gonna try to do maybe some hunting, maybe some uh, bug catching. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see whatever we uh, find. Come on, buddy. What's my guy doing with the fishing rods? Oh, what is that? What? Oh, that's an artifact, I think. Yeah, I think it's kind of like an artifact. What is that? A wagon wheel. I got no clue what that is. Uh, but let me try to catch the third fish. I really wanted to get myself the third fish. Not a uh, artifact. I just I hope that is an artifact. Maybe I can actually sell it. Come on. I'm loving the mist on the water though. It makes it feel super realistic. Uh, one thing that I don't really like is this kind of like green mist at the edge of the water. Uh, if it was a little bit animated, maybe it felt a little bit more realistic. At the moment, it's quite static. And I'm talking about this green glue, right? It, it doesn't bother me. I like it, but uh, just because it's static, it feels a little bit weird. Alright, we got this mission done. I don't think I... Oh, actually, I got to chat with him as well because we finished up the mission. I, feel much I have crafted many adornments made from fishing implements. Uh, I find them quite aesthetically pleasing. But I do something... But I do sometimes wonder if I'm the only being who feels this way. What do you think of my adornments? Uh, they're charming. This pleases me. I shall remember you find my adornments charming. I got a fish. Congrats! I hope you were able to experience that same joy as I derive during such events. However, my time with humans taught me that your kind of rivers limited uh, utilities from living, uh, from living fish. Perhaps this is a more suitable reward for your efforts? I do hope you will choose to continue this wonderful activity in the future. In the meantime, if I find anything I believe would be of interest to you, I shall have it delivered to you via mail. The conversation has now ended. <laughs> Goodbye. Conversation has now ended. Goodbye. Man, this character. I love it. Alright, of course, another thing we can do, we can actually aim and throw at bugs. Uh, but we gotta make sure we have uh, these pouches, right? 
So, we do have a little bit of dust that we can use. Let me see if I can find these bugs. So, that's what these uh, purple ones are. I get it. The purple sacks. Is that a bug? Oh, no, no. Hold up. I think I can hunt that one down. Let me get the bow. Let's see if I can hunt them down. Oh, we got him! Hey! There we go. And I think I also saw a bug. Where is he? Oh, God. What? Oh, I got him. Nice. I think I got him before he went inside the ground. Overflowing bounty. Oh, we have too much. No. Extra items are stored in overflow for a limited time to help you manage your inventory safely. Eventually, items in overflow are destroyed or replaced. Uh, what? We have an overflow? Oh, that's how you create check marks. By simply tapping on the uh, wheel button. Um, 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 hold up. I don't want to go with this. I want to go in my inventory, but I'm not sure how to go into the inventory. I. Okay, so this is the inventory. Uh, let me go back home. Let me go back to my little house uh, real quick. I'm not quite sure exactly how to go back to the house, to be honest. So many crews around. So if I want to go to my house, we got to go, I guess, this way. I got to get rid of some stuff from my house. That's why I'm making my way over there. Also, I want to try to make a campfire. All right, and we're back. Let us see. So first of all, let me go into my inventory. Uh, let me get rid of some stuff. I think I can actually place these down in my house. For example, right? If I go with six. Hey, you can. Oh, this looks so cool. Look at these things. Of course, I'm going to be able to customize my area as quite a lot. Oh, this is kind of like a fountain. This looks amazing. Uh, what about this one? Oh, okay. This one is kind of like a tiny wind uh, windmill. Okay. Can I also place five, or what is this? No, this is a valuable I can sell, I think. Um, let me grab these ones, then. I'm actually gonna place them over here in the house. Hey, look at these little guys! Awesome! Love it. Alright, got rid of some stuff from my adventure because we had way too much. Uh, what else? Let me leave that one behind. Let me leave the fishies in here as well. That for cooking, the flowers. Uh, I think I'm going to be able to cook the meat. And the fishies, actually. But the question is... Oh, wait. We already have cooked fish. Is this cooked? Oh, it is. We got some focus. Not bad. Uh, let me see if I can craft a fireplace. We can. There we go. And I'm guessing we're pulling the resources out of the box, which is definitely what I wanted. Uh, which means I can easily leave these ones behind so that I don't carry them anymore. Alright, we got a campfire now. And I'm pretty sure I can actually use this campfire to make some food. Grill. Alright, we got grilled mushrooms. I don't have any mushrooms though, that's the problem. Okay. What do you mean, request items? Use quality ingredients. Any mushrooms? You don't have any mushrooms. These ingredients are... Wait, so I cannot make anything yet. Uh, I'm currently limited to only making mushrooms because that's the only thing that I know how to make, I guess. I get it. Well, in that case, uh, are there any mushrooms around here? Let me see if I can find some mushrooms. I mean, we are in the forest, right? Look at that. We got one here. If I'm not going to find the mushrooms in the forest, then where? There's another one here. We got to cook just a few to unlock the ability to be able to do more stuff. That's why we need to get these mushrooms first. Cook them. And hopefully after this, we're going to be able to also learn how to cook fish and all that jazz. All right. I think that is going to be it for now. Cool. Perfect. Let me try to cook them. Nighttime is already coming. Uh, going here. Make. 
Hey, look at us. We're cooking mushrooms, grilled mushrooms. We don't have to eat them uh, raw anymore. That's awesome. Uh, what a, a great thing about this is that some things that you're crafting or doing are gonna take quite a while, maybe like one hour, 20 minutes, and while that's happening, you can actually leave, do uh, random stuff in the game, and then come back when uh, they're gonna be done. So I love it that you can actually do that. All right, there's three more. Let me also eat up these ones since they're cooked. Ooh, our energy is all the way up now, which means I'm gonna be able to explode during the nighttime instead of sleeping. Uh, let me grab these ones real fast and cook the last one as well. Collect and place. Oh, actually, I need three more. Okay, never mind. Let me eat these up as well. Eat. Why am I not able to eat? Oh, I think I'm not able to. There we go. Never mind. We just ate. What else can we craft? Um, makeshift arrows. Uh huh. Um, fortunately, I cannot make any furniture just yet. Hopefully, that is going to be something I'm going to be able to do very soon. In the meantime, let's see what mail we got. All right, we got mail from Aner. Dear Stanton, the other day, my hook caught an odd fish that I realized was nothing a fish at all, but rather an old leather foot enchantment. Uh, I put the enchantment aside and then I noticed a small bit of sun-consuming life growing inside several days later. Its determination and a newness to the world reminded me of you, so I gave it to Oni to deliver it to her via mail. Oh, I think it just gave me kind of like a flower plant. That's awesome. Thank you, buddy. Dear Stanton, looks like you've been improving your uh, foraging skills. Why don't you just stop by in the inn later? I'll teach you how to build a sawmill that can put your supplies to use. Alright, uh, first of all... Wait, how do I... Uh, I don't know what to do with the plant. Uh, what I'm gonna do actually... I'm gonna just leave it behind here. Uh, pretty sure I cannot cook anything else. So, let me just make my way back in town. Alright. And of course, uh, I will try to complete more missions, shop with more people, including this fella that told me how to hunt, uh, because I did manage to hunt a little bit, right? And collect some resources. Ooh, hold up, hold up, while we're at it. What are you doing? I missed. Ah, I missed. I'm wasting arrows. <laughs> Interesting, so they are going inside the ground eventually if you keep on missing. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let me see if the, fun the hunter is still here. Because I was saying I gotta chat with him real fast. Tell him that I finished hunting myself. Oh, thank you, dude. I scared them off. Hey, there we go. I'm gonna learn the drop very, very soon. Currently, I'm still kind of like struggling to learn how to... Oh, hold up. Look at that butterfly. I think I got him. Hey, what did I just got? Aquarium. Ah, oh, we're gonna be able to have an aquarium in terrariums. Are you kidding me? Of course, we're gonna be able to put the fishes on and all these insects. That is so cool. And I think I got, like, a really awesome moth. I see that it has a star on it, which probably means uh, that it's high level. Value, 18 gold. Oh man. We're gonna need to do a lot of, uh... Collecting. Hold up, before I do anything, buddy, I just noticed this thing. I don't know if I can take him on with just one shot, to be honest. Yep, I knew it. 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 Oh god. Stop running, stop running. Oh, it's so far away. Hey, we got him. Awesome. What did I get? Uh, okay. Of course, we got some high quality meat by the looks of it. Oh my god, I got him! That was such an awesome shot. I love it that there's no lag or anything, which means uh, shooting arrows, it's super, super awesome. You can actually get your hits, super easy. Uh, let me also get myself another moth. Actually, let me get... Wait, what? That didn't work. But at least I got me this moth. It was a nun moth. That one just disappeared. Alright, let me keep on looking for the uh, hunter then. 
We did a little bit of hunting. We did a little bit of collecting, which I love. Currently, the game is actually running pretty smoothly. Uh, it had a little bit of uh, frame drops at the start, but I'm guessing that was normal because everything was just uh, loaded in for the first time. Ooh, hold up. Let me grab that bug as well. Why isn't that working, though? What? That is strange. Yeah, I cannot collect some bugs for some reason. Apparently this dust is only working on butterflies, but not on critters. Anyway, uh, let's see who else we can find right here. Oh, look at this lady, the way she's walking. <laughs> she's awesome. Eshe. Uh, of course I can chat with her, but apparently I don't have any missions at the moment. Uh, who is this one? Kenyatta. Alright, this one is the blacksmith over here, but nobody we can chat with. So I'm gonna go inside the inn actually. Let's have a quick chat with this fella. Mm -hmm. I know starting out in a new place can be tough, but you've been doing a great job. I thought I'd help you out. I've got a couple of recipes for purchase that might make your life a little easier. You'll probably want to get a sawmill the first thing uh, to turn some of the wood into planks. Mm, okay, so we are gonna be able to get ourselves a better axe, of course, better tools, better everything. Cool. They are pretty expensive though, so I cannot really get anything. So the one that's gonna be really important. Oh my god, look at this one. Exquisite axe. 3,000. Oh my god, this one looks epic. Kind of looks like a Thor's uh, axe. Mushroom Woods wallpaper. We even have wallpapers we can get. These are different coins. I don't know if um, forging metals. Oh, these are forging metals. I have no clue how you get those though. We have zero. I'm guessing you're getting them by forging. Uh, skill medals can be earned after skill level 10. Ah, so we're gonna have to skill level a lot to get a lot of these. So we're gonna need a hundred of them, which means I'm gonna have to sell quite a bit in order to get myself a basic sawmill. And with that, eventually I'm gonna be able to get myself uh, uh, making wood and getting a home. Don't cut any fingers off, okay? <laughs> I'll see you around. Alright, uh, open the store. So this is his store. Good to see you. Chance. Uh. There's lots of spooky legends around these parts. Some say that the old well is haunted. Others say that the monster roamed the forest. Ni used to scare Oyuni good with the uh, with that tail. Wait, um, can I actually sell stuff to him? How do you sell this? Can sell here. Uh huh. What about the pelts? Can sell here. Interesting. Alright, cannot really sell much to him, apparently. Uh, the cook is not here. Probably because he's very late, to be honest. Oh, so I'm seeing this fella. It has disease above his head, which means he's sleeping, so you cannot really interact with him. Oh, look at the characters. We got Tish, we got Delilah. Awesome, awesome characters. Alright, if I check the map... I think I gotta go chat with Gina, to be honest, on this side. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a clothing store. Hey, look at that. Open the premium store. Alright, so this is where you can actually buy all sorts of outfits, guys. In the store and customize your character the way you want it. Uh, what I want to try to do here, I want to find kind of like a place where I can change my Someone clothing because I do have new clothing. Eight, what do I owe the pleasure of my company? Did you know that every grain of sound here used to be part of some of the, uh, some of the sort of shell of coral? I find it's important to remind ourselves that change is an opportunity for a new sort of beauty. Leave me to my melancholy. <laughs> Leave me to my melancholy. All right, buddy. Uh, in that case, as I was saying, let me make my way to, I think she's a uni, right? Uh, she might be inside this house. Oh, she is! Because she also has Hecla over here. Greetings, human. Hello, human. Had an inkling you could come see me. Gina and I must return home to make sure she gets her, requ uh, her, requisite, her requisite rest. Goodbye, human. Alright. There she is. Hey, Gina. Doing your own research? Hey, Santa. It's good to see you again. Did you settle in alright? Actually, I found something you might be interested in. Huh? Oh, really? What is it? Oh. Oh wow, I can't believe it. This thing is an ancient flaw battery. These were the power source of the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. Uh -huh. And you say you just found it under some old junk? 
<laughs> um, must be fate. I'm not really a believer of fate per se, but this is some coincidence. It might take a bit of time to figure out what this does. I'll send you a letter once I know something. Awesome. Ayuni asked me if I come from a big family, but I told him I'm actually the tallest one in my family, and I'm just now realizing that it's not what he meant. <laughs> Alright, Ayuni. Oh, look at her place. I cannot wait to actually start customizing my own home as well. That's gonna be super, super fun. Alright, well, this mission is done. Uh, if I check the map, we have a lot of people that are currently sleeping, which means we cannot really interact with them. Um, oh, you know what? I do have this fella all the way to this side, uh, to the family farm. Ah, so that's how you drop waypoints. Never mind. Okay, so now we know. So if I keep on making my way towards that waypoint, I'm gonna get to Ayuni. Alright, so in order to drop waypoint, all you gotta click on is the mouse wheel. Uh, hold up a minute. I want to catch me that bug. Why is it not working though? Oh, there we go. We got him. We got him. What? Hey, a common field cricket. Interesting. I think you really have to hit him in the head in order for it to actually work. If you're not hitting me in the head, it's just not gonna give it to you. That's how it uh, functions, I guess. Come on, buddy. Keep her going. I wish there was also oh. mantling in the game, like in Fortnite. That would be amazing. Uh, I think I already have that moth, so I really don't want it. Oh, wow. Look at these creatures. No way. Hey, buddy. Are you kidding me? The um, animals are looking amazing at this game. Imagine we could actually ride these things. Oh, we just found a chest. What? Oh, 26 gold. Okay. I had no idea there's a possibility of finding random much uh, just like that. Uh, Baldur's Barn. Shout with Baldur. Well, Baldur's not here. And Baldur Gate just released. <laughs> Uh, I cannot collect anything. I'm guessing this is the farm. This is where you chat with the person that's going to teach you how to farm, probably. But first... Let me go inside here. Oh, this fellow is sleeping. Okay, it's this guy's room. How are you settling into valley life? Hey, Neo. Oh, hi. You must be new in town. I'm Neo. My family runs Deo's farm over the west side of Kalima. If you need someone to show you around the barn or to teach you how to ride a riff rock, uh, I'm your guy. Uh. I'm also good at lifting heavy stuff, if you need anything heavy lifted. Oh, <laughs> oh and there's a carrot for sugar foods. Uh, give her one of these and you'll be her new best buddy. Hmm, who is nice. sugar foods? Just giving some evening chores and plus bonus cardio. Back to my workout. <laughs> Alright buddy, good night. Unfortunately, I cannot really uh, go and have a chat with uh, anybody here because apparently... Characters are actually going to go to sleep in the game. It's currently 12 a.m. Which means everybody's going to be sleeping at the moment. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm going to have to probably uh, go sleeping myself. Either that or just collect loot. Stable. Oh, so you can actually fast travel. Oh, but it costs coins. We're currently poor. We cannot do that. Oh my god, look at her character. She looks awesome. She looks really, really pretty. Oh, there's a shop here. I just noticed. I'm guessing this is where you can actually buy uh, seeds. Yeah, I knew it. Vegetable seeds, and you can also sell stuff here, maybe. Alright, the problem I'm having is that it's very, very late outside, and uh, I cannot really do much. There we go. And not only that, but now we also have a backpack. First of all, let me grill these mushrooms. Uh, not a backpack, I want to say. I have uh, another one of these chests I can place down and simply make use of. Oh, wait. No, this is just decoration. Never mind. All right. It might. Um, let's get rid of everything that I can then for my inventory. Leave that behind. We're getting there. We are almost, almost all the way full. So we're definitely going to have to get uh, more stuff here. Definitely going to have to get myself another chest very soon. 
Leave those behind. Carrot, I'm going to need it, though. These are going to have to stay here. These are consumables. All right, if I'm trying to craft anything, I cannot. Uh, I am actually going to make another chest, though, because I feel like this one is going to get full very soon. So, let's get another chest over here, I guess. I am going to start renaming, organizing, of course, uh, but in the meantime, as we're waiting for daytime to arrive, let me get my axe and make sure I remove every single one of the trees out here. Of course, there are some trees that you cannot chop down, such as the big ones at the moment with this axe. I'm definitely going to have to get myself a better axe. But until then, I'm just going to get rid of the bushes for now. Man, but this is such a pretty game. And I love it that it's really well optimized as well. As I was saying, I was only having some issues with the lag. Uh, only when I first loaded in the game. Just because everything was loading in at first. But uh, now, it's smooth. I haven't had any more uh, FPS or issues. So yeah, I'm liking this. Alright, hopefully everybody started waking up. Uh, let me make my way straight up ahead. I think this one is the cook if I'm not mistaken. I really need to start learning how to cook because I do have fish, I have meat, I have quite a bit of resources that I want to start uh, cooking, making food out of, as you need a lot of energy in this game. Also, what is that green icon I want there, below my character? I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh, that is the fishing icon, and I'm guessing it gave me that because I started fishing uh, close to somebody uh, and a bonus activated I think that's what that resembles yeah because I was saying if you are playing with friends uh, you're getting bonus resources that's what's great about this game right it can be played in multiplayer and uh, it encourages you to actually do that hey anybody here no seriously Where are the people at? Oh, uh, there's somebody on the right side. Never mind. Hey, buddy. I'm guessing they're just waking up, so they're making their way to their nice job. To visit. Hey, I see that look on your face. Up to no good, aren't ya? <laughs> I grilled some mushrooms. Whoa. Nice work. A bit more practice, and you'll be making your own soup soon enough. Hmm. But hey, I wouldn't mind if you kept stopping by for mine. <laughs> In fact, there's a free sample. It's on the house. Hey, there we go. Whoa. Awesome. If you want to learn how to cook, I wouldn't mind giving you a few pointers. Hmm. The biggest one being to buy. Wait for it. Ah. A stove. I'll see you around. <laughs> of course, he wants me to buy a stove. Of course. Well, um, he actually gave me something to eat. Oh, I think it's the soup. Yeah, and if I eat it, I got a lot of energy. Perfect. Perfect indeed. <laughs> Look at everybody wanting to chat with this guy. <laughs> Everybody's just looking forward for people to wake up and uh, spawn back into the world. Alright, in that case, next up, let me go chat with a uni here. Was it a uni? I think he's a uni, right? Yeah, it is this fella. Don't leave, buddy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't expect you. Oh, hey! I caught some bugs. Oh. Great job! I wish I had some kind of reward for you, but uh, how about this? Mom packed me a big of a lunch and I couldn't finish. Uh, that's not a really great reward, huh? But uh, yeah, I suggest you check your mail later. <laughs> but the real reward is the fun you add learning to catch bugs, all right? Bye. Or more like, am I right? Bye. <laughs> um, he gave me milk. But I'm actually gonna eat that. There we go, to uh, get my energy all the way to the top. Uh, next up, let me check the map. While we are in town, we have a person over here that we got to chat with. We got Badru. And at the same time, I also have to make my way back home once again. Because my backpack is full once again. Actually, hold up. Am I not able to sell the butterflies and everything that I got to this fella? I really want to. It's a good day to be exploring. Don't tell Hassian, but I usually like to let him win the cards. He's been beating my red so many times. I feel like I need to do something to get his spirits up. <laughs> Alright, buddy. You're pretty awesome. Can I cook something still? 
No. We only know how to cook uh, mushrooms. That's quite annoying. Anyway, let me go here. Get rid of the meat. Get rid of the fish. Oh, hold up. So apparently, when you have a lot of these chests, the storage increases. So you're actually placing stuff inside them in all of them. Ah, uh, that is so cool. You don't have to actually have all these chests kind of like named for this. For example, this one, food, the other one, uh, stone or anything. You're actually accessing every single one of them. Uh, that is such a good thing that this is uh, how it works. I love it. All right, let me place the milk in there. I'm definitely going to eat it. And I think that is everything that I can do here. At least for now. All right, let's head on out. Let's see what other missions we can do today. We're currently full energy, so we have um, a lot of energy to keep on collecting stuff, exploring, and hopefully finishing up a lot of missions as well. Oh, you know what? I should try to catch me a different type of fish in here just to see what I'm going to be getting. Oh, wait, what? Okay, not fishing here. I wonder why that was red. Is it because my fishing rod is not good enough? I think it is, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, God. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I mean, we can still do it by the looks of it. It's a little bit more difficult, but it's doable. Hey, we got one. What is this one? That was a huge fish. And we also got our uh, fishing to level two. Perfect. Well, I saw another one over here. Yeah, I don't know why this one is all red. I'm guessing it's going red because maybe my fishing rod is not powerful enough. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Currently, fishing is pretty easy, actually. Haven't had any issues so far. Still learning, of course. There's definitely going to be uh, more difficult fishies. But for now, we go. Got another one. Perfect catch. Uh, let's see what that one is as well. Name them Gil. <laughs> We've got 10 fish so far. Awesome. We got an achievement for that. And of course, the more achievements we get, the more uh, XP we get, the more coins, the more rewards. And the more stuff we can buy. There's another one. This one is one of those big guys, so we got to make sure we do not mess up our fishing rods whenever he's jumping up. And we got him. Awesome. A spotted bullhead. So whenever, whenever you're seeing those fishies jumping out of the areas, you want to try to fish there because those apparently are really interesting fishies. All right. Uh, where was I going? I was going this way, actually. I also have to make my way to Aner again because I got some really awesome fish and he really wants to know about them, apparently. Hey, there we go. We got it. So this one's going to be the farming shop hey there. to Badru. Well, if it is another friend I haven't met yet, I'm Badru the farmer and I sense we have some good times ahead. Huh? Did I mention in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy? <laughs> oh, God. Uh. It's hard to be mad at life when the sky looks like this, don't you think? Look at the clouds. What do you think? It, what do you think it looks like? I wish I could actually look up. Uh, a head of a lettuce. Uh, clouds? The feeling on tranquility. An adorable armu. Let's go with that. Ah. An armu, huh? Yeah, I can see it. Ah. It looks a bit like Arnu who needs to lay off the feed. <laughs> you come to the right place if you cared about the fresh quality produce. Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. If I had that kind of a grumption, maybe it'd be going more with my life and then just making ends meet. I'm just kidding around. Farm life is great, especially if you love the smell of Ormu's manure in the morning. I'll admit, it's a bit of a quiet taste. I'm guessing the Ormu's are kind of like uh, cows in our world, right? Tell you what, meet me on your plot later and I'll walk you through the steps. Looks like you're ready to swing by the Kenling. He's our mayor, so he'll get you set up with a new house in no time. I'll leaf you to it. <laughs> I'll leaf you to it. This guy is funny. Huh. Alright, we got that going. Um, There's a lot of critters around here as well. I know that they told me that I, I gotta give a carrot to somebody. Eight. But I don't know who I'm supposed to give that carrot to because he said that if I give it to somebody, they're going to be my friend forever. But I really have no clue who they were talking about. Ooh, we got it. There we go. Man, hunting feels so good in the game, I was saying. Love it. All right, let's keep it going then. 
Let me activate the auto running. And uh, let's try to meet more people. Apparently, there's somebody that's sleeping at this time of day. It's 10 a.m. and he's already sleeping. What? Seriously? Who is that person? Don't even know. I don't even know, but I gotta keep on going straight up ahead through here. So that's Kenley that's sleeping, apparently. But I gotta get to the hunter right over here. And then I'm gonna have to get to the fisherman as well. Which is this way. Let me actually get to the fisherman first. I wanna see if I gotta give him the uh, fishies that we just got, the new fishies. Ugh. Come on, buddy, keep on going. I'm currently absolutely loving the game. The world looks spectacular. Definitely my type of game when it comes to the graphics and art style. And uh, me personally, I really, really enjoy playing uh, these type of cozy games. A lot of people are calling these ones farming simulators. And yeah, I guess that's what this is. But this one is more than that. It's kind of like an MMO farming simulator. Which is uh, something I've never experienced before. And I actually love it. Hey, buddy, I got some really, really special fish. Oh, I have you haven't ever getting safely to the docks, huh? This is wonderful news. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of how the exchange of goods is performed between two willing parties? I am pleased to inform you that I now have a recipe shop where you may exchange an exchange with me. Hmm. Ah, uh, so I can't get myself a bit of rods. A worm farm. Fisherman's brew. Oh, they're gonna be so expensive. Fisherman treasure chest. What? What is this one? I think cannot be sold. One person's trash is a fish's treasure. And hey, look at what they caught. <laughs> oh my god, look at the aquarium. The aquarium costs 980. Jeez. Well, I'm definitely gonna want to buy some stuff from this fellow for sure. Um, but I got no coins at the moment to buy anything. Tell me, how much does a Kantakoros koi taste? Uh, a lot, I guess. Congrats. That is good news. No. It is not desirable for food to have much taste. Go and think your one. <laughs> Alright, buddy. In that case, let me finish up the uh, hunting 101. All I gotta do is chat with the hunter, I guess. He is down below here, apparently. Nope, this one is a Yuri. Hey, bud. What are you doing at uni? Delivering stuff? Oh, am I supposed to give the carrots, I guess, to... The dog? Let me try. I want to see if that works. Chawita. Lick. Oh, I cannot give him anything. Anyway, let's chat with this guy then. Quickly. Why have you returned? Did you think that I would praise you for a job well done? It is every Pelion's duty to help maintain the balance of nature. In the interest of perpetuating that balance, I'm obliged to give you this. Chapas are not natural to this environment. They overpopulate and destroy natural wildlife and vegetation. It is only right that you humans help before you two begin to run wild. <laughs> you may leave me alone. I'm sure any further contact may be conducted over mail. Alright, buddy. If you're looking for a chapa, I will try searching in the forest. Chapa are burrowing creatures that, that, that may make their homes in the base of trees. Hmm. Wait, I just noticed this tree here. What's wrong with this tree? Why is it all pink like that? More like purplish. I definitely cannot chop this down, unfortunately. Yeah, which means I cannot grab the um, thing you got of it. Oh, I saw somebody gliding down. I desperately want to get myself a glider as well. That's going to be amazing. Definitely have to craft me a uh, glider. All right. Uh, let me check the map again. I think we're kind of done with the missions for today, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to make my way back home. But first, uh, we have Kelly here. And Kelly is actually inside this building. Uh, she's no longer sleeping, or he's no longer sleeping. Oh, this one looks like a hotel. Oh, yeah. This is most definitely a hotel. You're just gonna stand there. Kenyatta. Oh, she looks so pretty. What's up? You're new here, right? I'm Kenyatta, Glorified City Hall Receptionist. Uh, My parents run this place. If you have a problem, you should probably go to one of them. But if you want to get up to some trouble, hit me up. If you're looking for my dad, he's in the office in the back. If you're looking for my mom, can I ask why? Because I would highly recommend you don't. <laughs> alright, alright. Let me chat with uh, your dad then. And I think he is upstairs here. Oh, this one is the mayor. Never mind. 
As long as you do your best, that's Greetings, good I'm the Honorable Kenry Bahari, the firstborn son of the late Kenji Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari Province, <laughs> and brother of Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of a Bahari Province. <laughs> I am the mayor of this fine village, and it is a great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. <laughs> Could you be back later? Uh, I'm a bit busy applying my seal at the documents Eshe has given me to approve. Uh, wait, I wanted to ask you about the, uh, getting a house. A house? And you're... Uh, you're asking me? Well, uh, personally, I inherit mine. Have you tried that? <laughs> no, I want to build my own, buddy. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Uh, because you have just moved in. Um, the plot didn't come with one, right? No matter. I'm sure I have the paperwork around here somewhere. Just give me a moment. Oh, no. What, where is it? Uh, I shall tell you what. Go find Tish, a resident carpenter. I'm sure she'd be delighted to get you started on some nice furniture while I uh, look at those forms. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a little. All right, buddy. I guess I'm going to have to come back to him, to be honest, uh, once I find uh, the paperwork. So that's why this guy <laughs> was uh, just sleeping in longer. Everybody is waking up at 6 a.m., but this guy is just waking up at, I think it was 10, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hold up, before I go anywhere, let me check every single one of these rooms. I might actually find another one of those chests. If I'm lucky enough. Uh, nope, nobody here. Alright, in that case, I think the one that I gotta go for is Tish, right over here. So, Tish. Uh, man, I love it that you can also mark down locations that you want to go to. Just so that you can easily see them in the compass, that would be faster. This is such a pretty game. Such a pretty game. As I was saying, currently I'm playing this one in closed beta. Oh, you can buy stuff and place them on the wall. Look at that, but they're so expensive as well. Everything's expensive here. How are you hey, like Tish. Hi, welcome to the village. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. Are you new in town or just passing through? Uh, just materialized from a void. <laughs> well, that sure sounds tough. <laughs> when my brother and I first moved in, I, it took us a little time to adjust. And we were just coming from one town over, but not another plan or existence. Oh. If you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. Hmm, Kenley sent me. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're going to live here. I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift when I realized the house isn't a much of a home without furniture. Oh. So here's some simple recipes you might want to start with. If you're tired from all your hard work, why not just build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at? My friend Jell instead to have the wardrobe too. He's a tailor and he always says uh, looking your best makes you feel your best. Even oh. if there's something you can't make now, I'm sure inspiration will strike as soon as you start building. Nice oh, we got so many recipes. Thank you, Tish. Good to see you. Don't you just love the way the wind whistles through the valley? Do you like the furniture? I made most of them a piece of myself. My family comes from a long line of carpenters, going all the way back to the time of the first co uh, council. Toodles. What can I buy from her? A furniture modification kit. What? What does that mean? Oh my god, but everything is so expensive. I cannot wait to start making myself my farm and start selling stuff because I have nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, if I check the map again, I think we are completely done with the missions at least so far. Uh, next up, I gotta make my way, of course, back home to try to learn how to start farming. Uh, because as soon as I start far uh, farming... Wait, what is L? Oh, L is friendship. This is where you can actually see what people like uh, in uh, your friendship level with them. Alright, in that case, as I was saying, let me make my way back home. Start uh, plotting some farms and start growing some stuff because... I want to start selling some stuff. We desperately, desperately need to start selling some stuff and uh, earning some coins. Hey, look at that. We got Badru and he is going to teach us what how to farm. Good to see you again, Spring Bean. This place has already started to look different. I figured you're still working on setting up that tent, right? That's some work ethic. Work ethic's my middle name. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, let's go oh. with that. Um, I can tell that the magistrate's going to like you, Stanton. Once she gets to know you, that is, uh, she's a tad bit prickly with the new folks. I bet you've been working on an appetite from all the chopping and mining. Well, if you got patient, I got a solution for you. Woo! Gardening. All you have to do is wait a few sun cycles and voila. Dinner or breakfast, even lunch, if the mood strikes you. Uh... I know, I know. It doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, nothing tastes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. I've got all the tools you need right here, too. Go on, why don't you just drop this plot down and uh, give it a, go a good tail. 
All right, so make sure your garden plot is on your action bar. Uh, so you have to have this one on the action bar here. I get it. Interesting. Next up, once you plot down, press and hold R. Select the hole in, uh, from the tool. Okay. Uh, then you, of course, in order to plant something, you got to choose what you want to plant. I get it. And then you simply plop it down. You're going to, of course, have to water it and then harvest it. All right, make sure. It makes sense. Uh, I'm actually going to make my farm all the way to the back here. I'm going to be guessing I'm going to be able to expand all this entire place. Pretty sure that's how it's going to work. Um, but for now, let me jump into my inventory. These are going to be the plots that I have available. Let me go with six. Let me go with uh, the hoe. Oh my god, the type of hoe we have. It's so bad. Wait, how did... Uh, six? Oh, there we go. So that's how you place it first. Uh, first of all, we got a place, of course. Right over there. Seven. Let's place another one. As close as... Wait, are they not... Oh, there we go. Aha, uh -huh, so we only have two at the moment. I get it. Oh, uh, this is pretty cool, actually, the way it works. Oh, we found an artifact as well. What? I don't know what that is. Hold up, let me try to uncover it completely. That's interesting. A rare artifact. What? My first tilling discovery. Interesting. So apparently by doing this, eventually you're actually able to discover all sorts of things. I like it. Man, this game is super, super chill. Very cozy. Very cozy adventure. It takes a while, of course, to farm as guys can see. You seem to have to do all this tilling, all this uh, watering down. It's not going to be as easy one, but hey, that's the whole idea of the game, right? It's actually super fun as well. I hope I'm going to be able to move these things around on a later date once uh, maybe I make my home bigger, I expand this place and everything. All right, come on, let's clean up all the dirt. Prepare everything for farming. My gate just crashed. Mm. It hasn't happened to me just yet, though. All right, perfect. This is cool. Uh, we got everything going. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to need seeds, so probably he's going to give me some. Sproutling? You might be wondering what you do next. Well, unfortunately, seeds don't plant or water themselves. Ah. You're gonna need some of these bad boys. Consider them a housewarming gift. Once your seeds are in the ground, go to that pond and fill up uh, this here watering can and give that dirt a nice little bath. It might take a few sun cycles and a few buckets of water, but trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Some things you plant might have an effect on the seeds around it. For example, carrots and onions keep weeds from growing next to them. If you find yourself uh, needing more seeds, you can pick them up at the Zeki's. Well, I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. <laughs> this guy's so funny. That would have been funnier if I give you a wheat seed. Ah, uh, I gotta work on my material. <laughs> see you later, hot potato. All right, see you later, hot potato. <laughs> oh, this guy's funny. All right, hold up. Let me get some water first with the watering can since we're here. Wait, how do you... There we go. We got water. Uh, next up, let's go with two. How do I grab the seeds I want there? Oh, like that. So carrots and... Uh, so he said carrots and onions did not allow weeds to spawn in next to them, right? So let me place a weed over there. Go... And I think we're done for now. Awesome. Of course, and lastly, is watering everything down. That's pretty cool. This is such an awesome little game. Come on, buddy. I don't know how long it's going to take for the carrots and... There we go. And uh, the onions to grow up, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see here. There we go. It is done. 
Awesome. Of course, all I gotta do now is just wait. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait quite a bit. Uh, if I check my quests, let's see. Uh, place a chair, place a table, and we got Guarding 101. We gotta wait for these ones to start popping in. Talk to the village to learn the remaining basics of the Living Apalia. Oh, these ones are all completed, and these are the uh, missions, the pinned missions that we have, right? Okay, community. Oh, you can create a community, actually. Build friendship and explore Pelia to get there. So this is where we actually uh, can uh, go ahead and invite your friends uh, to join your community. We're definitely going to do that, for sure. Uh, I still cannot cook anything just yet. Because I do not have what I need. Let me see if I can craft some stuff, though. So, first of all, a log cabin wardrobe. I want this. And the reason I want this is because this is going to be how I'm going to be able to change my outfits. Wait, what? What should I learn to make? Oh... I don't know what this is, but this definitely looks like a bed. Yeah. Hey, there we go. We learned how to make a bed. Awesome. Uh, let's keep it going. Next, let me make a log cabin bed. Uh, never mind. What is this? Emerald carpet moss. Oh, you can request an item. How do you request that item? Is somebody just going to bring that to me in about one minute or one hour? I think that's one. Is that one hour? I think that's one hour, yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, what else? Wooden storage bins. Okay, never mind. Uh, let me place this one down because I want to see if I can change my wardrobe. More like my outfit. I want to see if I can change it. Hey, I can change the clothes. I knew it. Now, still, we don't have any facial hair, at least not just yet. Hopefully, that's going to come in the future. Uh, where are my new clothing that we unlocked? Oh, my God. We actually have quite a few. Hey, there we go. What do you mean not owned? Part of the Finding Friends. I already did this one. Why am I not able to actually apply it? All right. So, we're going to have to wait for this one to grow up. In the meantime, let me see what mail I have here. Oh my god, we have so much mail. Dear Stanton, I've been doing a lot of digging on the flow battery you found. Humans, I used to use these to power all sorts of things. You know, there's this old door under the waterfall that I've been uh, trying to open. It's just a little ways past the shrine we uh, first met at. I'm trying all sorts of things to get it open. Maybe this battery could be the key? Why don't you just give it a try? This place used to belong to your people after all. You really should be uh, the first one to check out Gina. Alright, so she gave me that thing again. Dear Stanton, apologies for my son's rudeness the other day. I wanted to let you know that you are welcome to the valley, and uh, if anybody says otherwise, you're gonna have to go through me. As a welcome gift, I made the Chapa skin rug with uh, one of the Hessian's pelts. Just one thing for a hunter like you to rest on. Hey, she just gave me something I can actually place around. Dear Stanton, salutations and felicitations. Follow enjoy of the act of fishing. Would you like to learn more about this act? If so, please find me by the docks and I shall teach you. If you will if you will not like to learn more, please do not come by the lake and I shall not teach you. I will also not sell you recipes for a rod health booster. <laughs> this guy's so funny. Hey, dear Stanton. Tired of going out hunting or bug catching, then having to drag your whole back to your house every quarter for a sun cycle? Well, look no further for a solution at Zeki's Expanded Backpack. Zeki's Expanded Backpack greatly increases your storage space and cuts those trips home in half. Stop by Zeki's General Store. All right, so this is gonna be the guy that's gonna tell me to sell me the backpack, so I uh, have to, uh, so I'm gonna be able to carry more. Dear Stanton, so I just met you and this is crazy, but you're the only person I could think of to message. Something strange is happening with the Phoenix Shrine. I'm going to be guessing the Phoenix Shrine is the one where I actually spawned in. Nothing world ending, don't worry, but I could do help if you got the time. Alright, I'm going to check on you as well. There's Stanton, so I was thinking if you're going to become a master bug hunter like yours truly, you're going to need a way to, uh, to take some snacks on the go. I thought you might like the picnic blanket and basket I made all by myself with my mom's help. <laughs> hey, he gave me a picnic basket as well. I don't know what that is. Dear Stanton, fun fact. Did you know that you can also grill other things besides mushrooms? Why don't you just try it out? I bet you'll be a grilled champ in no time. And then Hodari will start co coming to you for lunch every day. Don't put me out of business though. I cry. <laughs> hey, he gave me recipes. We can finally start cooking stuff. Not just mushrooms. So, I can actually go here. And of course, we can start grilling fish. Awesome. Finally, this works. Alright, uh, we can also place 
this thing. It's kind of like uh, enjoy a picnic, I guess, over here by the fire. There we go. This is so cool. All right, let me grab the fish. Let me cook some more fish. Uh, let me also place... I want to place this rug over here somewhere, but at the same time, I got to also place the bed. Uh, wait, didn't I actually make the bed? Oh, no, because I don't have this. And this thing is still coming along in 54 minutes. Yeah, I'm guessing this is minutes. This is not hours. So I'm going to have to wait for those resources quite a while. Uh, let me also craft a chair. Come on. Uh, let me learn how to make this one. Shells, I guess. A log cabin bookshelf. Uh, let me also make it. So whenever you're crafting something, you're also, after that, you're getting the ability to learn how to make other stuff. That is so cool. You're learning recipes by uh, crafting stuff. That's pretty neat. Let me get a log cabin fence as well. Or a bunch of them, I guess. Uh, and of course, I'm going to be able to expand the uh, fences. Uh... I don't know what that is. Log cabin, log carrier. What? Log cabin, log carrier? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, let me place a chair over here. Let me place number three over here. I don't think I can store anything in it, but I just wanted to finish it, I guess. Uh, let me also grill, not oysters, meat. Because we have a bunch of meat. Let me also go with five over here. Oh no. I want to actually start fencing up these ones. Hey, this looks awesome actually. I just made a little bit of garden here. That's what I wanted to make. That's cool. It's going to be a little garden. Alright. Uh, next. Let me grab the meat. Let me cook some more fish. I'm gonna try to cook everything that we can. Uh, also, if I go into my... Loving the sound. Uh, if I go into my inventory, can I not put these ones on top of each other? No. Grill fish, grill fish. Oh, there are different types. So this one is worth 67 coins. This one is worth 40 coins. Uh, what if I go, for example, in here? Coin purse running flat. Place items in the sales bin and they'll be sold soon. Hmm. I think they're going to be sold by the end of the day, right? Out of the town, shops will buy the same sort of items as they sell as long as it's busy hours. So, what if I just simply place the fishing here, for example? Oh, okay. So, this is going to give me 67 coins. Not bad. Not bad at all. You can place also that one over there. Or maybe the one that's uh, going to be better. I'm going to also want to have some of the food myself, of course. You can also sell some of the fish. Wait, I want to make more torches. Oh, I don't have any more wood. Never mind. So now if I go to this torch, for example. I can actually go and place it over here. Hey, this looks awesome. Man, this is such an enjoyable little game. Of course, it's going to take a while for us to start waiting for those things to grow up. Uh, unfortunately, I still have to wait for... Is there anything here that I got to get? No. Ah, you can grab stuff from your backpack directly and sell it over here. That is pretty neat. Makeshift herb planter. Grow your own sweet leaf at home with improvised planter. It conveniently has drainage holes. Wait, can I not actually do something about this one? Oh, you can actually plant it somewhere. Never mind. And I can actually put it over here. <laughs> there we go. So apparently you can actually drag stuff directly from her chest. Which is pretty sweet. I'm going to get this one back. I'm not going to sell it. Can I not sell these butterflies? All these things? In order to get money out of them? I really want to get rid of them. Also, those fishes I want to sell, the flowers, everything is going to be sold for now. That fish as well, why not? These ones. All right, so we're going to get 348 coins. Not bad. Not bad at all. Awesome. All right, well, there we have it, guys. This has been a first quick run of Palea. Uh, our first day of Palea has been super awesome. I'm currently really, really enjoying the game, to be honest. I cannot wait to keep on getting 
more deeper into the game here keep on exploring more and even doing this live stream so that you guys can join me into the adventure and uh play the game together this is gonna be a very very long uh, series here on this channel as i was saying this series is gonna contain both videos and also live streams that i'm gonna be able to explore hopefully with all of you guys uh if that's gonna happen i'm gonna be really loving it i'm actually gonna create like a community where we can all jump in enjoy the game together and uh have a blast but soon very soon the game is gonna open up to open beta so that everybody can join in and i'm gonna try to invite as many as you guys as possible so that we can all have fun playing the game together all right Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode coming up very soon. Bye, everybody.